Alright guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. On today's video, I bought a new car. And I'm going to either be trying to sell this car, so I'm going to be trying to fix it up, put a cheap coat of paint on it, or I'm going to be fixing it up and I'm going to be keeping it myself. But for today, we bought a 2000 Chevy Metro. Now this one is the 1.3 liter 4 cylinder, so this thing's got quite a bit of power coming from that 4 cylinder. Um... It's got 175,000 miles on it, and we're going to be doing that only using Rust-Oleum paint cans. So let's get to it. Okay, and officially at this point we've got the entire car sanded down. So what we did was I had an orbital sander which I got for 15 bucks. I took it and sanded it down with 220 sandpaper, or sorry, 120 sandpaper, and then I went back and re-sanded it all down with 220. So at this point I've been just going over it. I've been uh, cleaning it off using rubbing alcohol and paper or washcloths like this, just to get rid of all that uh, dust paint that was still on there. So once that's all taken care of, it's all clean, then we're going to mask it and paint it. So. Okay, 
At this point, I went and I've wiped down the entire car using uh, wash rags and rubbing alcohol, or yeah, rubbing alcohol. So uh, what that's doing, that's going to act as your uh, lacquer thinner paint or whatever to go ahead and clean off the car of any oils or anything that's left over. Um, and I've washed the entire car with that and got it all re ready to go. Um, over here, I have the side moldings off of the driver's side, and I didn't wipe these down with alcohol before I painted them, and I should have, because right there, I don't know how well you can see it, uh, there was a, obviously an oil or something else that was on the trim here, which caused it to not have a good paint surface to go onto, so it kind of spread out there. So I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to have to redo this to make it look good and this one I didn't sand it or scuff it or anything on either of these because they looked to be good enough as far as how clean they were and this one it's just not looking good enough so that's it, the quality's not there so I'm gonna have to go back and uh, re-sand this because I thought I can get away with it obviously it's not gonna happen so I'll go back and I'll redo both of these, get them looking good. Um, over here, after you've got all of this wiped down, you've got it all taken care of with the alcohol and the wipes, you're still going to have small amounts of the dust left over onto the paint. So what I like to do is just get a uh, another rag. For me, I'm going to use a work sweater. And just go ahead and wipe off all that excess dust that's still kind of left there that the rags are having a hard time getting. Um, try and show some here for you. For example, like right here, you kind of see it's got lines that are going this way. So that's it. That's just dust that's just stuck on there. So like right here, that's just dust. So that's where you're going to come back and you're going to wipe it off with the uh, sweater or whatever you're using to just get rid of all of that dust off of there as possible because if you don't, your paint will have nothing to stick to. You will put it on, it will look good going on, and about five days down the road, it'll start flaking, it'll start just coming off, not looking so good. So just go ahead. Wipe as much off as you can. Start from the top, top, work your way down. That's how you do everything on cars. Start at the top, work your way down. The reason you want to start at the top might seem obvious to everyone out here there, but maybe not to a couple people. Um, when you start at the top, the dust, whatever you wipe off, it's going to fall down. Then as you go down, you keep working, keep working, keep working, it'll be to the ground. Then you won't have anything at your top at that point.
right. At this point, we are looking pretty good. I think it's getting to be about the time to start working on our masking. <laughs>